Welcome to the Fly Spread Masters show. You already know what's going on. So check this out. Without further ado, I want y'all to give it up for Prime Allah. Cheers, brother. Peace, brother. Salute, man. How are you, man? I feel great, man. Feel great being here, man. Feel great. All right, that's what's up, man. So, we all want to know, where you from? Um, I'm originally from Hell's Kitchen, Midtown, Manhattan. Um, 40th and 9th. Woo! To be actually exact. Shout out to all the homies that was rocking through there. Sears, you know what I'm saying? Um, Seeps, um, Fatback, uh, Caesar, you know, Care, you know what I mean? SOS crew. Oh, even the House of Pain was living down there from what I remember. But anyway, that's what's up, though. Go on. Yeah, you know, so yeah, I, I, that's where I'm from originally. You know, I was there. Then um, once um, I had my, my seed, my first seed, I moved out to Brooklyn. I was actually, in 1999, I moved out to um, Kingston Avenue. Okay. Um, in um, Crown Heights. Um, so I was on Kingston Avenue, actually, between the Pacific for like... Uh, 15 years after that once I moved out from um, Hell's Kitchen and um, actually I've been in, in um, Crown Heights ever since you know I was on Kingston now I'm on um, Utica Avenue you know I stay I, you know I love I love that area it's really great um, the thing is like I came I I'd seen gentrification firsthand living in Hell's Kitchen so when um, when I seen um, the same thing happening in um, Crown Heights area I was like, you know what? It's time for, you know, do the grown folk stuff and buy a house. You right know? on, right on. All right. Cool. So, man, Manhattan by way of BK now, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the to the neighborhood, Utica, Crown Heights. Yo, salute to y'all out there, original low heads out there, um, original low lives out there, part and self. Um, we want to know, what got you into this? <clears throat> the, uh, the low... You know, um, growing up in um, Midtown, there was um, there was um, always uh, going to school. Um, there was always like the decepts and the Decepticons used to come around. And um, really, what what got me into uh, the low thing was um, being in the clubs. And um, I kind of um, I was like a late springer, like what you would say. Um, I used to get a lot of my pieces from. Um, uh, my boy Tone, you know, Jad Deville, he was, he's my partner in crime, you know what I'm saying? So I used to get a lot of my pieces from him, a lot of pieces, um, like even when we were growing up, we was in the club, we called ourselves the polo posse, the polo dancers. Uh, you know, we, were, we owned that many pieces, but we felt... You got we, busy and ready for what you had, right? Yeah, we, we felt that that was it, you know? That's what's up, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, right on, right on. Words. Yeah, so that's how, that's how basically I got into um, the whole the whole polo thing. What was your first piece that you could recall that you owned? That I recall that I owned. Yeah. The first first piece that I really like that that was legendary to me um, was the javelin. The, oh, the t-shirt? No. Or the, or the shirt. The, the shirt. I remember I was used to I used to Olympic joint, this like stadium collection joint, yeah, right? Yes. Like all that Dan and Dave's and all that. Oh my So like I actually got that from Right on Tom. Right Jock on. The bill. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I love this. I, I, I need it. And he used to not want to feel but he was like, yo, like he used to just we used to, back then it wasn't about selling. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I had this piece, let me get that piece. Yeah, we yeah, swap out, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and it wasn't like you had to have really, uh, you had to, had to have a collection, but it was more of a, you know what I'm saying? We grew up together, so it was just like my brother. I, I'm just gonna borrow shit from my brother. Bro, roger that, roger that. So, going into the javelin, right? Obviously, you know what I'm saying? That's a stadium line, that's, you know, Olympics and all that. But to, to come up into this day and time, what is like, your theme, like what's your top theme that you go to that, you know, no matter what you collected in the beginning, what would you do now? Like what's your favorite thing? I like, I like a lot of the um, uh, Indian prints, um, but um, one thing that I've been gravitating to a lot right now is the, the USA theme. 
You know what I'm saying? USA? Yeah. So like, yeah. like USA? Yeah, the USA spell out. I, I, I'm, I'm beginning to collect a lot of that right now. That's like my, like my thing. I, I have a, a lot of um, Indian print pieces. I have a lot of um, stadium pieces. So like right now, like um, um, I, I just go into themes and then like if I start off with a shirt, I want to get the undershirt. I want to get the top. I want to get so like I'm doing like bills and that like yeah. yeah like I, I like bills in the collection or the theme itself. You can build a theme. It's almost like building collection, but. I, you know, collectively building a theme is more ideal for me to like to explain it. Cause like you say, like getting the t-shirts or whatever, it, even if it comes down to the socks, tank top, um, polo short sleeves, rugby long sleeves, you know, sweatshirts. I mean, USA is a dope too, man. I, I like playing with the USA's. I miss the nostalgic USA though, like that, that Superman USA, like the, the fleeces, right. you know what I mean? like. They got so much USA pieces out there right now, man, from the Ralph Lauren collection. It's just like, wow. Like, you could just go all over the place with that. You know right. what I mean? So that's cool. That's different for a lot of my guests. They never even mentioned the USA thing. Yeah, and and that's what I like about it. There's so much of it out there that you you have to have certain pieces. You know, um, there's this brother online, Jonathan Cruz. He's, he's actually a, a, a brother that kind of inspired me. And getting these um, 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 USA pieces because he, he has a he has a he's on Facebook he has a lot of USA pieces that are dope like and, and he's a really humble no nah, real talk because I'm not on Facebook and I remember you know Jonathan Cruz you know what I'm saying I remember the name you know definitely. yeah he's really dope man you know and, and that's how and that's how like most of my pieces I usually get that way too like I'll just I'll take them with other brothers and you know we uh, talk about a piece and then we, we feed off our vibes and you know we start working on, on different projects and stuff like that. Word. So, USA is a steam, but is it easier to get now than it was then? I don't like I don't remember there when I when I had um I had like uh, the fleece, you know, with the um I had a couple of pieces. I'm talking about overall in general, not the theme. Well, the USA is easier to get now than it was, and it's always been kind of like that that sleeper piece. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, there was, there's actually pieces that are hard to get from the USA line, but um, it's mostly it's 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 easy, pr pretty easy to get. You know, a lot of the times that that you would be hard to press to get would be like um, I have this one USA piece with the um, with the shield on it, with that has the um, it's a red, white, and blue. Um, it's all white with which is really dope, and I, I really rarely see that mm. one piece. But most of and most of the hats, the USA hats and stuff like that. Yeah, I got someone pressing me for my USA hat, man. My fitted USA, the white one, the original white one. With the one USA on the brim. No, it says it across right here in navy letters, man. Oh. Jonathan Stilo, man. <laughs> he been pressing me for that crown for a few years, but it matches my knit, so it's kind of hard for me like just to give it up. But I right, so the theme. USA, all that, right? Now, since it's easy to get in certain aspects, you know where I'm coming from? We want to know, like, what kind of hobbies do you have out there? Like, like, what do you do besides this getting this Ralph Lauren, all this fly Ralph Lauren stuff that you've been getting his hands on? Well, what um, do you do? I have, like, um, I, I do, I deal with a lot of, um, um, health issues you know I'm actually a uh, substance abuse counselor so um, I try to help a lot of people um, with substance use you know there's a there's a really big epidemic with these pills with these young guys drinking these these um, drinks that they don't even know what they're drinking or all that you know, poison so, yeah so um, I have a I have a brother that I, I, I we do a lot of uh, things with like his name is uh, Drop um, he, drop. What up, drop? Yeah, he's uh, he's one. He has actually a um, he his thing is of uh, high blood pressure. So there's, there's a lot of people that a lot of people don't know that it, it, it's called the silent killer for a reason. You don't even have any symptoms, but then all of a sudden you're breaking out in sweats and stuff like that. So I, I like to that's one of my main hobbies to make sure that enlighten the people because you know I do have knowledge of myself. But a lot of people don't realize that just because you have knowledge of yourself, 
Does it mean that you keep it up with yourself? Right. You're not overall healthy. You know what I'm saying? Right on. And you could drop drop there with a heart attack because you you got you you got your knowledge of yourself, but you don't really have knowledge of your whole entire self. Or you know. So on that note, how about the people in your community? Have have you ever had people in your community that come up to you and wonder how you got this fly? And you, like you know, and then you get to influence them. Like like is anybody that you influence that you can all? Uh, well, you know, I, I I always say, you know, the uh, with a person you have to start with your with your home base. You know, what I'm saying so, I, I feel that the the most person that I influence is I have a twenty year old son, Divine Universe. He uh, I influence him, okay. and through him, he has influenced a lot of his little young people to get into the polo mm. team. You know, what I'm saying Word. so, like, um, and yeah, I, I have other um, older gentlemen and stuff like that that we we, we feed off each other, um, but. Um, I, I, I like to um, teach the youth right. because that's like one thing that we got to realize is like once you teach the youth and, and bring this to the next level, then this, this culture will live on. You know, you can't just feel that because you had it before, maybe it wasn't hot from when you had it or you didn't know how to rock it. So maybe these young people are the ones that are going to bring it forward to the next level, you know? Well said. Well said. Well, since he got great influence on people, what's up with this right here, man? This is gonna be a great influencer right here, man. Like, look what you go, look what you came home with, man. Best goose on the deuce. I low goose on the deuce. Twenty twenty. What's up with this, man? You know, uh, this right here is just a symbol of the hard work. You know, 2020, you know, that's what we need. Everybody has to have a clear vision and, and execute it to the fullest. You know, um, this, like I, I say before, this is basically uh, my peers recognizing me um, that, you know, I, I'm, I'm able to stand with them. And like I if it wasn't for my peers, I wouldn't be here. You know, and I, when I meet my peers, I'm talking about, you know, John DeVille. This is one of the, I like we grew we you know grew up together from day one, you know these are this this is one of them but I know a, a lot of people that you know because I used to be in the clubs a lot so my thing was uh, I was always in the clubs I was never out there you know boosting like everybody wanted to be a booster I was not a booster you know what I'm saying I was a consumer I was buying stuff you know what I'm saying and or trading stuff you know so that's that's so. That's my journey, you know? Right. That's how I came about, you know? Sure. All right, well, before we get out of here, we need you to let them know where to find you at on any platform. Spell it out for them or however, man. Let them know. Well, most of most of my interactions I go on um, Instagram, Primalaw718. You know, you can find me on there. Um, and usually, just hit me up. Friend request me. I definitely hit people up. I definitely want to also, um, you know, it, it's a possible to do a shout out to a couple of people. Probably, you know, like I want to, one of the people that influenced me is like, you know, Danny Castro. He's been a, a great influence to me. Uh, you know, t a Anthony, you know, from back in the days, Prance. He, he, these are people that, you know, we were in the club, so we knew each other from back then, you know, so these are the people. You know, like you said, Care, you know, he's he's another one, always dancing, SOS dances, um, you know. Um, what up, the brand new being, yes. Here's his George. Yeah, these are, you know, like, even from when I was growing up, Psycho, Caesar, these are the people that, you know, would be in the clubs together, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's how that's how this whole thing started, it was just a vibe, you know, um, uh, Polo vibes. I I, I mess it, recently met that brother, and he's really a good. His vibe is good. You know what I'm saying? He's good, and he's really talented. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The observe brothers. You know what I'm saying? So and then um also on other brothers that I met, you know, like Milk. He's a good brother. Always showed me love from day one. Um, Ir from um they you know uh, PCU like Bushwick Low Life. These brothers just like was, showed me mad love, like you know and. I don't know these guys, but I, they show me love and I love them back, you know? All right, man. Well, salute. Thank you. Yo, I hope y'all enjoy y'all shout outs because y'all well deserve it. Deserve it well. And uh, we about to get into his layout. 
Uh, Primal Law. Stay tuned to the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling out there, man? Thank you for tuning in to this Fly Spread Masters episode. It's your boy, Sun Low. You already know what we about to do, right? My guest came through and knocked this interview right out that park line. Like Big Root style, you know what I mean? Or, or what was the other brother name? Jackie Robinson. You took it all the way out the park, all the way out the park. We got a champion in the building, and he gonna show y'all what his fly spread is all about. Introducing Prime Law. Peace, y'all. You know, it's Prime Law here to show uh, my spread, you know, how um, it was done. First and foremost, I'd like to um, shout out Fly Spread Masters for having me on the show. Um, also, want to shout out my boy Milk. You know, did his thing, came out and supported IR. You know, uh, Bushwick Low Lives. All these brothers came through and supported the the cause. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm I'm doing this for all everybody, not just them, but everybody in the low culture. You know. So, I, what I did on on this set was basically I brought together the indigo line, which is the stadium line, but it's basically the indigo color. Um, it's more like a tie dye kind yeah, of stuff. Indigo hues is more. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like a little tie dye type stuff. Word, word. So, um, you know, it, there was a, a P Wing line from back in the days. There was also um, certain things like the face plate was done, the pullover was done, but there was really never a stadium line before before so like now that they came out with a stadium line it's kind of dope and i kind of fell in love with the red one from before and then they came out with that you know with this color um i don't know if they're gonna do another color but if they come out with that color i'm gonna take that one too you All know right, well, let's get into this let's get into this fly spread then so I, uh, so it. basically i started off with the um the t-shirt performance tee. Yeah. yeah actually the performance tee because i was sweating billets this is this is why um I did this, you know. That's a good tea to work out in. Yeah, you know, sweat. That's a good tea. Yeah, to sweat so in. it will it won't It'll go, go on. Right? Mm -hmm. It won't go on to the next things, you know. Right so like oh like uh, kind of like reminds me of like how RLX was doing their t-shirts look somewhat. Yeah, and it's, and it's really comfortable to be honest with you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not even some and it's actually really well made, you know. So um this is kind of the, the dope piece. Um, to start off with, you know, I'm so let, let's, boy let's, do, let's put this down real quick. This is uh, one of the joints right I got here. You, I got you. All right, so you know, under all the sweat that I was doing, you know, I had uh, I had to do this. This is the actual um, indigo mm -hmm. um, P, -wing. P wing sweater. You know, Word. it has. It has the it has the the rings on the on the side. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I love this is because the way that they did it was that it was there was nothing um, duplicated. Every every piece it was an original, a, a individual piece. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when they dyed it, like I could have had a, a darker version, I could have had a lighter version. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what was sent out that day. Sleeve. Right. So you've got the spell out on it. Yeah. The, so basically, they did the same thing as they have done in the, before with the blue. Right, right. I mean, with the with the red, and then they did it with the black. Same exact concept. All right. So listen for like a lot for, for a lot of y'all that's not familiar with the the P Wing Stadium collection, um, or you know they don't really know what it is. However, these type of sweatshirts Ralph Lauren does this with a lot of like you know like sporting type of um sweatshirts like athletic stuff the same material right here will be off the armpit shoulder that's that's you make that's crazy like i don't care like that snaps you right. know where i'm coming from that stands out to me a lot always like this stuff right here always. the rings right yeah. the ring the rings always been Let's like that bad boy job now, hold on what's this say right here in the inside limited edition hold on let me get that real quick See that? Limited edition. You know what I mean? So that was the second piece that that, that I put together, you know. Um, so the, the next piece that I that I um chose to complement um these two pieces was actually the pullover. Mm. 
this with right the here. face plate. This is another piece that's iconic. Um, it has been around, but the, what I love about it is it when you look at it, it looks like it's clouds on the background. Yeah. It's not a solid. Yeah, that's that's a nice description for it. You know, it's not a solid um, black. It's not solid uh, blue or solid red or whatever it is. It's just actually yeah, the original ones. They were like you know. They were like more solid with the, with the you know other like solid colors. Like this has you know like this sweatshirt as well. It just like he says like clouds, man. That's a good description. I never even even thought of that. I'm sure maybe other people could have, but yeah. And it, and he, you know this is how I fly in the sky. You know, see, <laughs> we up in smoke. This is how we do. Word. But um and, and then the, 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 the embroidery on on the on. The, on on the letters, like the original. you know, it, it's it's always always been a classic move on on, on his end. Yes, which is great. The letters are are put together. The vinyl letters are put together on perfectly, and um, it actually complements the jacket because even the the um, makes it all stand up. More. Everything stands out because of the solid um, other pieces that come along with it. So this is. Um, I actually the pullover that actually, came. You know what? Let me put this up here. Or let's get this back one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bam. Or alright. So the next piece that I want to introduce to you guys is actually the um the pants that were released with the um, Indigo line. These are really um, classic pants. Um, they they come from the um, snap pull off and, and I'm ready to play basketball type days. But um, it's it's they're they're beautifully made. They have this the writing on down the side. They have the buttons, the snap buttons on everything. They have the the P wing which is actually the red P-Wing. The original. Mm -hmm. Which is, is, is really dope. But the, what I, it, it, actually it, it, it does open up all the way, okay. all the way. Um, but what really, oh, yeah, when, see it now. what really got me on these was the fact that if you turn these around, it, it kind of complements the, the top. Because it goes together, you know, it has the 1992 in the back of the, the back of the um, leg. So, and these are these are also um, one of those things that happen where if you have a darker color, that's what you got. If you got a lighter color, that's what you got. So this is what makes this whole line kind of dope. That there's not gonna be two of these. There's gonna be, you know, there might be. Um, a couple of uh, down the line, they, they had um, some white streaks going down the line. So it's it's a whole different feel. And I always like um, pants that have to have the back pocket. I hate when you buy pants and they don't have the back pocket. Oh. You can't put no wallet. You have to put your wallet in the front. You know, yeah. that's kind of corny. Proud. You know, what do you think about that, yeah, Solo? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel the same way. Yeah? Yeah, I, I have to have a back pocket on my pants. Right, or... so, you know, so they, they, these are the second line. Um, what do you think? What, you want to add something to these? I'm, you know, honestly, this is the actually first time I'm actually having these pants in my hands. Um, these pants are dope. It's, it's great spring wear to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would love to have this outfit in the spring. Um, but you have this outfit in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> um, Beautiful. But, but the good thing is, like, in the back, a 92 pops, boy. You know what I mean? A 92 pops right there. That's what's up. Great pants, man. This is a dope fit. We're going to lay these bad boys down right here. And then I'm going to turn in the one leg right there. Like the, you know what I mean? That's the swag. That's the swag. I'll you know, show it off. You know what I mean? I like looking at my layouts. Like you know, what I'm saying like I, I take pictures of them. I do videos of them. You know, marketing and promoting, man. You know what I mean? Got to you know play with it a little bit. Have fun. You know? Oh my bad. Guess what? I caught myself doing covering the p wing. No. You know what I mean? So gotta you know say move these over a little bit. So when we go to look at it at the end, they can be like, yo. 
snapping. There you go. Yes, we go. There you go. So, so now I feel like we should go back to the top. We're, we're, we're at the middle of the body. Um, I want to go. I want to go um, to the top. Come on, let's because go. Because the oh, let's get there. this right here, I it still has the tag. See, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, love, love, love the fact that this right here is a um, compliment, and it's a long bill. One thing I can say about the long bill is that the fact that they actually fit really well. Um, the the 1992. Uh, this is like I said, part of the Indigo line. Also, that um, you could have. You you won't. It, it won't be two of the same thing. It, it it will be probably. You know, you could have um, a darker color. You could. Have, you you would have to go out there to put this suit together. But what I'm trying to stress is that you have to go out there and actually look for the pieces. Because if I could have had this hat, but it could have been a lighter hat that won't go with this. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you have to actually hunt for the right pieces to go and complement the hat. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, I love the, everybody that knows, they love the five panel, the, you know, Americana, you know, polo, stadium, the green, the patch. Uh, I, what do you think about this? this yeah, is this has crack. I got, I have the collection of hats, I just don't have the gear. Match the hats all the way. Like I have some pieces for it, I could survive. <laughs> but um, I actually won this hat in the raffle. I never wore it yet, and this hat is like this hat is good. But I also heard a rumor that they really constructed the brim a lot better. It, it does feel um, it, it kind of like reminds me of the red and black winter edition a little bit, but thinner. Right. right. But thinner. You know what I'm coming from? So this also makes a great summer cap right here. Um, spring as well. Yeah, this is dope. Or let's get this bad boy at here, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. What's the top, baby? So now, from from the top, you know, saying we're gonna go, I, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go into the next pieces, which is uh, what we're we gonna do. We gotta do the socks. Peewing city socks. Just peewing socks. Now, these are really really dope you know why because they actually go with the p wing that's on the pants you understand so and if you look at it these are actually on there they, they're not like oh they're it patches. goes right they're patches thank you they're definitely patches that go with the the whole unit like it's it's really dope um the the thing about it, I like about these socks is also the fact that it has like this 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 really um up here where it the, it, it will take a the, that band, band the elastic band won't have these dripping once or two two wears you have sometimes you buy some socks two or three wears they start stretching out they're out of whack you just spend about forty dollars on some socks that don't mean nothing you know you'll be diabetic wearing them socks <laughs> you'll be done you will be done you know you'll be going to a diabetic coma. But yeah, these are definitely something. What do you think, Sunlo? Well, let's lay these bad boys down. Let's, let's um, break them out a little bit. And uh, these bad boys get the, the down. Bam. You know? So. Got the red heel, you know what I mean? The red toes. Or wear them with some dope flip flops. <laughs> oh yeah, you could definitely kill those in the summer too. You know? mm -hmm. So, I had to, had to get these now these are the iconic if, if, if you was a breaker from back in the days you knew that you was fresh and you had these in the nike edition the nike the nike blue ones with the white stripe you know okay. you know what I'm saying we was killing it but they came out with these now the reason that i got this with the whole entire suit is going with the same theme of with the p-wing See the P-Wing is, is, is the original P-Wing design. These are really dope, really comfortable sneakers. Like you said, spring type sneakers because they're kind of light. Um, if, if you don't have a pair, you should definitely own a pair of these in, in, your, in your closet, in your arsenal. Um, mm -hmm. They go with a lot of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and they actually go really well with the 
Pee Win Stadium line, you know, mm -hmm. because it actually complements yeah. what's on the pants, what's on the sock. What do you think? Uh, I got the fire. What I like about this also, check the label on the tongue. If you see the label on the tongue right there, it kind of like reminds you of the Polo Country label or the Polo Dungarees label. I like how that was done. This was, this was a good look for these shoes. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna lay the shoes in a different place this time. Mm. Not just think they're, they're brand new. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The floor. Mm -mm. So, that right there, my friend. Bam. That's mm -hmm. a banger, right? Mm -hmm. So now, for, for, the, for the one thing that everybody's been inboxing me about. Now, talk about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> How come I don't see that around? <laughs> this right here, my friends, is called the Blue Unicorn, okay? This is what I call Cobra Commander. Why I call it the Cobra Commander is because if you, if you watch G.I. Joe, Cobra Commander was actually the blue guy, you know? So, I, I want you guys to see everything wow. that 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 comes along with this um the stadium line. Right, see, so now um it's funny because ye um yesterday when um before I got on the um onto the competition, I was like, you know what, this is a dope piece, and you're always questioning yourself, like, is it really a dope piece or is it something that just nobody has? But then when like when you put the whole thing together and how it complements, um, and and the way that actually rap, thank you rap, uh, yo, the way he described this that was right me. here, yes, oh yeah, was you, mm -hmm. yes, you gave it a definition, yeah. the invisible spell out on the sleeve, because mm -hmm. I was always wondering like yo, why, why did they make it so dark? So um. Let's try this. Crazy. So what happens is that um, we have no eats, brand new. Um, this this actually came out of um, the vault, Ralph Lauren vault. Um, what happens is that what they do is um, you know I was able to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, and they're actually there are three. There's the red one. There's the blue one. And there's the green one. The green one is out in Japan. How I know? Because I sent it out there. <laughs> okay, so. I'll right, finish around. Let's talk about it. Now, obviously, let's open this up real quick so that they can see. This is part crazy. of the indigo this process. Look at this. this so you see the yellow? I want. I want. I'm so no. You could do it. You see the yellow that goes with the pants. The pants. Mm -hmm. This is a detachable hood. Mm -hmm. That's you can take the hood off. You know what I'm saying? So the hood is dope because it has that um, silver lining that actually is like a water replacement too. It serves as that. So I was yesterday, even though I was sweating bullets because I was in the competition, I was dry as hell. I didn't feel not one thing. So you could um, lay that down, and then you could um, just like every other, um, if, if, right? If I'm not mistaken, the the, the downhill ski and all these other um, um, joints that came out have a detachable hood. So you know they they, they kind of kept it with the same kind of theme, where you could you could take the, the hood off or you could take the hood on, whatever. It has the old um, um, patch on there, the old um, made by Ralph Lauren. This is a um, the, what you call it again? Oh, plate. The, the plate, which is the silver plate, okay? Um, crazy, you know, I, I love this, I love this. So, the stadium, the iconic, and you know what I, uh, like I said, what I noticed yesterday, so just just so that you, for you guys say, cause you out, like the whole spread was, um you know, with the old, with the, with the, with the red, with the red arm um, thing. So, you know, this actually complements the, going back to the first piece, which is the, the P-Wing, the black and white P-Wing, you know? The um, well, other thing that you guys, uh, if you guys don't notice is that this shield, 
the Cookie Shield Stadium. The Stadium, stadium Shield, I'm sorry about that, is actually on the same side as the pullover. So if you, once you put it on, it will complement it because it's on the same exact side. Let's put it up there. All right. And then put the hood. There you go. And last but not least, let's see what you're gonna bring out now. And this is what you get when you, you know, when your peers support you. When the people that you love show you love back. You know, um, when you humble, because that's what I am, 100%. I thank you, you know, for, for, for fresh fly spread masters. I'm sorry, guys. Fly spread masters for letting me get on the show. You know, you guys is dope, right? Um, this is what you get when um, you, you actually get recognized from, you know, all the hard work that you do. And like I always said, this is not only mine. This is everybody. You know, this is all everybody's stuff. We've been we've been doing this. We come here to do a uh, we're we're a culture of civilized people. You know, we're civilized black, white, green, whatever you want to be. We civilized. You have to be civilized, and this is what it, what you get, man. This is um the the one of the best parts of my life, to be honest with you. You know, this is I'm I'm. I'm we're, we're, we're a clear vision, 2020 champions. It gotta be clear. What you think, what, what you think about that? Good job, good job, congratulations. And I hope, you know, say you win more, man. Thank you for being on the Fly Spread Master Show. We're about to close this out. Yo, Ayat, salute, swells up, all of that, man. Little Goose on the Deuce 2020, best Goose champion. Um, thank you guys for having me. You know, um, like I said, once again, I want to um, shout out to my boy uh, Milk, my boy IR, you know, um, Prez, Prez Low. That, that's one of my other guys. I love you. I love you, man. You, all the people that show me love from day one, man. Love you guys, man. You guys did, you guys do your, your thing, man. You know, um, PCU unit, you guys came out and did your thing. But my best supporter of all is my son. Divine, divine universal law. That's him. You know what I'm saying? Peace. I was like, it's a crazy one. <laughs> Only a few pieces. <laughs> you want me to stand that up, right? <laughs>